everyone I've spoken to uh, so far today has spoken so highly of, of working with Lily to a point where you, yeah. sometimes when you say, oh, what was it like working with this person? People go, oh, it was great. And you're like, yeah, sure. But yeah. people genuinely seem to have just the time of their lives with her. It must have been a real pleasure to collaborate so closely with such a, a wonderful actress and person. Yeah, oh, absolutely. It was. I remember uh, meeting her for the first time and we were at Mike Newell's house and we were just uh, getting to know each other a little bit and chatting. And then at a certain point we started reading a scene or two and we stumbled through a little bit and uh, and I just remember thinking, ooh, I hope we get to do this because I think this could be fun. And it really, it really was fun. I mean, one of the things I loved about this is the kind of spirit of, of the people. I mean, usually when you have films set this in this era and sort of in wartime, death and destruction is so prevalent. But this film is really about kind of the community spirit and, and hope, isn't it? I mean, that's and a real celebration of literature as well. Oh, it's absolutely uh, an homage to literature in a way. Um, it, it inspired me to, to pick up a book again and um, uh, something that I really enjoy but, but haven't really been devoting enough time to for the last couple of years because you're always so busy with uh, reading uh, scripts and stuff and watching movies and catching up with TV shows. So um, I'm really glad that I'm... You know, you, you can find me with a book in my hands again, so that's great. So what was the last good book you read? I'm reading uh, My Brilliant Friend at the moment, which is uh, the first installment of, of four big, uh, um, like a really big story. And then how about, I mean, I'm just wondering, because I mean, a few people said yes, some have said no, but have you ever actually tried a potato peel pie? And if so, how horrible is it? Yeah, well, we obviously had to eat a potato oh, that was, pie. Oh, that was an actual... I thought they that was an actual... It as like a oh, treat. no, we had like 20 pies nice. for, you know, one of the scenes <laughs> where you see us eating the, that pie. Um, it's just potatoes. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like, you, you know, it's not really... It's not really... It's not a pie like, like a dessert or something. You know? It's more like you want some gravy and you add some meat and you have a meal. <laughs> What is your favorite pie? What's my favorite pie? Yeah, yeah. I'm not really, I don't really have a sweet tooth. So, uh -huh. nah. I oh, see what I can say. I like a steak and Guinness pie. Yeah. <laughs> that's oh, a great. good pie. Oh, that's, that's a good pie. Yeah. <laughs> um, and have no. you, I, I know this wasn't sort of shot in guys. Have you been, have you had the chance to go there? Or even, have, you, have you ever been there to meet the people of there to sort of get a sense of the landscape? Yes, time? I did. So, yeah. I, you know, unfortunately we couldn't get, there's no way we could get our 40, 50, trucks on those tiny idyllic roads of the island of Guernsey. So we, um, we had to find locations that hopefully do justice to the beauty of the island. But I was able to go to the island um, during my, my period of, of prepping uh, the movie and visit the, you know, the, the, some of the locations that are mentioned in the book and that we recreate in our, in our story and visit some of the museums that they have on the island that are dedicated to the island's history and, this, and particularly to the occupation, um, which was really helpful for me in terms of sort of getting a sense of, um, you know, a sense of the place that obviously my character knows really well because that's where he's from and that's, you know. And I mean, you get to spend a lot of time here with, with uh, Tom Courtenay and, and Penelope Wilton, who yes. are just incredible at what they do. I mean, even yeah. though you've been in this industry sort of for quite a few years now, do you still find when you're working with people of that caliber, are you still even subconsciously learning from them and studying their craft on set? Oh, of course yeah. I am. I'm always learning, and I'm always, uh, you know, I'm always trying to, to 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 learn something from their process. Um, but it was really, I mean, those those moments that we we got the whole bunch together like the book club mm -hmm. together were so much fun for 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 me to shoot because our our director really um, wanted us to to create a a very free and and pretty rowdy atmosphere so it was quite op the opposite of what i expected from the book club i thought it was going to be quiet very serious we're going to be talking about books but he was like no these they, they're passionate and they you know this is this is really all that matters to them so give it all you got so that gave us a little bit of liberty and freedom on set to go off script if necessary and improvise a little bit and you know when you say that to people like tom and Penelope, 
I mean, that's just like you open the floodgates. Yeah. They go. And for me to be part of that was just amazing. You know, Tom, he's he's he, he's the he plays the character that created the potato peel pie. Yeah. So he kept banging on about the potato peel pie and about its ingredients. And we kept saying, no, it's just potatoes. And he was like, well, a little beet juice and whatever. And then Penelope was just, you know, yeah, she always have the last word. Yeah. <laughs> it's really great. I just find uh, very quickly, of course, I mean, we're coming now right really towards the end of the, of the Game, Game of Thrones experience. I'm yes. just wondering what an experience it must have been for you to be a part of potentially the biggest TV series of all time. Oh God, yeah. it was, it was, very, it was quite addictive to be part of something that is so anticipated, that is so in the zeitgeist that, you know, um, everybody's aware of it and they know it's a uh, new season is coming out and um, it's exciting to be part of something like that. Um, and I, I can't wait to see how, how the story finishes. Might we see you in the last season at all? I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks so much for your time today. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, yeah. Is that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice.